NSG pushes its men to go beyond the brink. Beyond the levels of human endurance. Hi, welcome to the channel. Today I'm finishing my reaction to National Geographic India's Inside NSG. Let's get to it. The induction training at the NSG Counterterrorism Force has gone into overdrive. The trainers are turning on the heat. This exercise ka maksad tha aapka physical or mental dono test lena. The first challenge for the inductees is to be put under physical and mental stress for 48 hours non-stop. They are given various tasks throughout the day. Even the whole night is spent active. The next morning, the men have been without sleep for 24 hours, and they still have 24 hours to go. Despite feeling tired, I was excited about our next task, firing the sniper rifle. But our instructors were meant to put us under stress. So before we fired, they made us do 50 knuckle push-ups. So they're trying to get them out of breath with their heart rate elevated because that will affect their firing because breathing is one of the key fundamental things you learn in marksmanship. This was the first time in my life that I was going to fire a sniper rifle. Detail line position. I wanted to get it right. Tail bar. But I was still breathless and panting after the push-ups. The slightest shake will affect the shot and targets are usually far away. In this case, it was at 400 meters. So I don't have the actual ratio memorized in my head, but if he was on target and he accidentally just moved his barrel maybe three centimeters, he would actually end up missing the target by about three inches or more. Nice. It was such a happy moment. I really felt a sense of achievement. But honestly, at that time, I could only focus on the next 23 hours of stress that was coming our way. Snipers are essential in the NSG arsenal. These are highly trained marksmen who can hit pinpoint targets at extremely long distances. Sometimes up to a kilometer away. That's far. state-of-the-art shooting ranges at NSG turn commandos into crack shots. Targets at NSG depict a terrorist hiding behind a hostage. It's little wonder that the NSG is called the Zero Error Force. Do not underestimate how difficult it is to actually fire a rifle in a standing position unsupported. It requires a lot of practice and precision. It is much more difficult than firing in a prone supported position. Good. Meanwhile, the inductees continue with the 48 hour stress test. By mid morning of the second day, they're flipping tires in 40 plus degrees heat. Oh, that is not fun. I don't know how much that tire weighed, but believe me, after a sleepless night, flipping it for almost 800 meters was hard. Oh. It was difficult to think that I had still over 20 hours to go. But in moments like this, I feel it's best to just focus on the next task and not to let your mind run in panic. By the evening, the men are allowed a short break. Keeping our body fit during the training is very important. And uh, I personally feel that taking care of our feet is of utmost importance. Because 90% of the time during the training, our shoes are on. And with all that uh, sweat and dirt, so whenever I get time, I just take off my shoes, change my socks, and wash my feet. And sprinkle with baby powder. Yeah, taking care of your feet is very important. I can't imagine how 
painful their feet must be by now. This human body is a magical thing. It can really be pushed and it can do wonders. By the second night we were so exhausted but all of us were still going for it. Honestly those memories just fade in and out of my mind. I can't even remember most of the things. I just know that our instructors kept the scenario as real and difficult as possible. It is crazy but it is it is uh, it is very close to reality. If it happens for real this is going to be the case. Jo drills banti jaati hain wo on ground banti hain. Scenarios jo bante hain on ground scenarios bante hain. Jitni aap log practice karoge utna aap logo ke liye refinement aur better hote rahoge. Abhi aap log break karenge dinner karenge fir uske baad aapke raat ke aage shaak ko milte jayenge. Clear hai? Sir. Bhai sab khush hain? Sir. When you are put under these conditions, I think these thoughts can come to anybody's mind. Breaking point. What is the limit? Give up. But I think to be a commando, you have to be able to uh, shut out these thoughts. You have to be a fighter. So now we are putting them through this phase that we call stress hours. Uh, the main aim is to not let them sleep, where they are given a limited amount of time in which they can, you know, have their dinner. In which they want, they can take time out for you know some recovery where they can take a five minute, ten minute nap. Who is sleeping on the floor? Even a fifteen, twenty minute cat nap would do their bodies good. These are the times I miss my family. My sister had her first child, whom I have not even seen yet, and also my bike. I miss my bike. I really wish I had my bike here so that and I wish I had more free time so that I can could go out for a bike ride. I really miss that. By 300 hours early morning the exercises begin again. Aaj CPT pass ho jayenge sare? Ha. Agar aaj CPT pass ho gaye to aaj break. 47 hours of stress conquered. 1 hour to go. 1 full hour of physical training. You somehow find whatever reserves in the body and you don't you can't think about giving up. You only think about getting the job done. The National Security Guard has proved itself in operations time and again. This success hasn't come easily. The nation has to feel confident that whenever NSG is requisitioned, this force will deliver. And whenever requisitioned, NSG will mobilize swiftly and deliver a surgical punch with lethality. So the whole orientation of NSG is to stay in a constant state of readiness. As we speak, there are eight teams in this country which can mobilize in 30 minutes or less. So that the vision of NSG to be a world-class zero-error force is never compromised. 30 minutes or less, wow. I wonder just how big the actual teams are and if they operate on a first up, second up kind of rotation or I don't know. Only two weeks to go for the NSG Counter Terror Force Unit induction training. But there are still mountains to climb. This is basically rock craft. You can see these natural wall faces. It's about a good 100 to 120 feet high. So it uh, gives them a, you know, a natural feel of uh, practicing and honing their uh, uh, rock craft. One of the reasons men like me want to do commando training are the different skills we get to learn at NSG. I've done some climbing before, but these conditions are very different.
By late morning, the temperature had gone into the 40s. Mid-June, high humidity. So we call it toll tax. The toll tax may include like 100 push-ups or 200 push-ups. The purpose is basically to, you know, uh, tire them before they even start their tasks. It's after the body is exhausted, you know, how well they perform the task. This is, uh, you know, what we are putting them through. That's also the same reason why they had that 48-hour exercise with no sleep. They need to learn how to actually use their body and their mind under sleep deprivation and physical exhaustion. That toll text thing was really bad. In the middle of an exercise, you suddenly start to feel that your arms can't work anymore. But since you are hanging in the middle, there is no choice left. You've got to get to the other side. If you see these tasks, they are physically grueling. You can see on his face that he's exhausted, poor guy. You know, he must have done God knows how many push-ups by now. And uh, after the physical exhaustion, when they are put through it, that's, you know, the making of the black cat. I can't imagine just how beautiful those views are, but I'm really enjoying this so far. If you are too, then please smash the like button. I'm not impressed, man. Among the many units at NSG, the bomb squad is special. It is in charge of monitoring, recording, and analyzing all bombing incidents in the country. The bomb squad commando's job is a difficult one. Even though they wear a protective suit, walking up to an explosive is not an easy task. No suits are claustrophobic, hot, and heavy. I'm guessing maybe up to 80, 90 pounds, maybe more. They must physically carry the explosive to a containment chamber. Robots minimize risk. Remote operators can pilot these vehicles from over a kilometer away. Onboard cameras allow both reconnaissance and intervention capabilities. There are robots out there that can actually defuse bombs, IEDs, and explosives. Via the operator, the of course. may be small, but it packs a massive punch. Fire. By late June, in the fifth week of the induction process, the men have reached the final hurdle. Because last team din se itna zada humid, itna zada garmi, itna zada weather packed raha hai ki ye achha hi raha. The instructors have saved the worst for last. <laughs> Minimum two and a half to three hours to finish the circuit because uh, they won't be walking on it. They will be crawling throughout the way and uh, they'll be tested uh, how they perform as a team. So what we expect from the trainee when he comes to NSG is uh, very high levels of physical fitness, very high levels of firing skills. So we take them maybe two, three notches higher than when they actually joined NSG. So the end product is a extremely efficient, 
uh, commando who is ready to meet any kind of challenge in the course of his duty. Tomer and team will never forget the challenge they faced that day. CS? Nicknamed the Holy Chamber, an obstacle unlike any other the men will encounter. It's a small room filled with smoke. The men must hold their breath and get inside. There's a box inside, all right, you have to get that box. That box has a key. You get that box out, open the box, and there will be a map inside from which you'll be able to move to the next target. That looks like CS or tear gas to me, which is not I don't fun. Know how to describe it. The mind is in complete turmoil. You can't see anything, and you're trying to hold your breath. But the smoke does get inside you. But you can't escape anywhere. So you'll have to fight it. The team's first attempt to find the box was unsuccessful. That means only one thing. Try again. It's nothing but chaos. But then in that chaos, you have to have your peace of mind. Well, if that is CS gas, the effects of it wear off pretty quickly, actually. Maybe about five minutes or so. Yeah. That must have sucked. Finding that box was the most difficult hurdle. After that, we knew that we can do anything. The six of us were now invincible. We had done everything NSG could throw at us. Nothing could stop us now. It's a matter of great pride for me because, you know, I have pushed these guys you know, beyond their limits and I've helped them test themselves how far they can go. It had been a long journey to reach this point and despite the pain and tiredness we felt later that day, we were still excited that now we are going to be a part of NSG. Are they allowed to choose if they can go into the bomb disposal or the anti-terrorism unit, or the personal protection unit, or do they randomly assign them to the different units? Hard work ke baad, matlab, aaj, wo din aage, aaj, black hat commando banenge. Bhot acha feel hoga, hume bhi, maghar walo ko bhi. Ye paanch hafte sabse is puri training ki energy ke sabse muskil time hai. I think ye jitne saal, jitne bhi time hum yahan energy mein rehenge, I think ye chhe ke chhe bande mesha saath hi rehenge. The induction period has come to an end. Four and a half months of hardships are over. It is the morning of the blackening ceremony. In a little while, 
Tomer and the other men will take their places in the counter-terror force of NSG. Wearing black was an amazing feeling altogether. I would be lying if I told you that I was sure I would become an NSG commando. But I did it all. आप सभी का CC 118 के बलिदान परेड में हार्दिक अभिनंदन है। अब मैं ग्रुप कमांडर महोदय से निवेदन करता हूं कि इन बहादुर कमांडोस को पुरस्कार देकर इनकी हौसला अफजाई करें। Best hit exercise अजय, Major प्रसन्नजीत तोमर। We were awarded the best intervention team. After all the hardships, it really felt good to be acknowledged. Five weeks are over now. I, the devil part of mine is gone. I've done my part as a devil. Now, you know, I'm my brother, brother in arms. And finally, with a punch on his chest, Tomer is given the Bali Don badge. Welcome, Tomer. Insignia of the Black Cat Commando. After the ceremony, we were taken to the officer's mess for the first time. And what happened after that, I'll never forget in my entire life. The place that you are sitting is, uh, it's a, we call it cradle of sacrifice. You can look around, you'll see bullet ridden souvenirs that we got from Taj Hotel in Mumbai. This particular chair that you are sitting on is from Palm Lounge of Taj Hotel. This is the place where Major Unni Krishnan made the supreme sacrifice. So when you are sitting here, you must realize that you, have, you are guarding a legacy as officers, as leaders. What Major Unni Krishnan did was taking leadership to a new height. For men who achieve their dream and become NSG commandos, induction is only the first step. They now have to live up to the standards set by the brave hearts who have preceded them. In almost 40 years of its existence, the National Security Guard has earned glory through sacrifice and blood. The men who laid down their lives inspire every day. Their heroics will always be remembered by a grateful nation. Respect to all of them. If you want to see a great movie about the heroes of the Mumbai attacks, which includes the NSG, then go check out the Indian movie Major. And if you do want to watch another video on the Indian military or army, then go ahead and check out this video right here. I thought this was a great video. Obviously, they couldn't show a lot because it was so secretive, but I think they did a really good job just giving us a taste of what these guys had to go through in order to become Black Cat Commandos. Until next time, thanks for watching.